Okay, we're going to look at using sliders again in this video, but with a different goal. In the last video, we explored using sliders to play around with color. Here, we're going to use them to experiment with arithmetic, with math. So I'm going to create a new project, and I will call this project Math Sliders. And here it is. All right, so it's come up. And so what we're going to do is first let's change the name of the title up here. So instead of screen one, we will call this calculator because that's really what we're going to be making is a, is a simple calculator. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of sliders. So there's one. And so these sliders will represent values that we're going to do arithmetic on. So for each of these, let's give them a suitable range. So let's have them go, say, from, uh, from 1 to 100. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. One minimum value, 100 is the maximum value. And then we'll make the width fill the parent. So we'll make it be able to go all the way across the screen, which should allow for using the sliders very, very nicely. Then uh, we need a couple other things. Let's go ahead and add in uh, some text boxes so we can visually see the numerical value indicated by the slider. So let's bring in uh, some layouts so that we can group the sliders with text boxes. Let's bring in another horizontal layout. And Let's put in text boxes. So there's one, and there's another. Then let's uh, make the layouts uh, arranged kind of how we want. And so we're going to make the width fill the parent on each of these horizontal arrangements, fill the parent. And then we're going to make it so that you can't edit the text boxes. So we're going to make the text boxes read only, and we're going to get rid of the hints in each one as well, which will make them a little less distracting for the user. OK, so we are ready to do some programming. Oh, we need one more thing. We need uh, to actually create a way to do the arithmetic. So let's add a button and let's make the text of the button a plus sign. And so that's telling the user, if you press this, it'll add them and then display a result. Oh, we need somewhere to display a result. So I'll add one more text box down here. Again, this will be read only without a hint. Looking at all of the components we've created, let's go ahead and rename them to make the programming process a little easier. So um, let's rename text box three. We'll call this the solution box. And then we'll rename button one to be the add button. OK, and so let's go ahead and do some programming now. So for anything to happen, uh, the sliders and the button are what we're most concerned with. So let's start with slider one. So whenever we change the slider position, we want to update the corresponding text box to show what that value is. So I'm going to set the text for that text box to correspond to the thumb position. And I want to do the same thing with slider two. So I just did a copy and paste, and I'll update this to slider two and text box two. Uh, 
So if you want, you can actually go ahead and try this out and make sure that your numbers are getting updated nicely. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So I am connecting my device. And it is doing the rendezvous. And shortly, the app will appear on my device. Yep, there it is. And yeah, I can slide things around and I, I get some numbers. Now, when I hit the add button, it doesn't do anything. And that's really what we want to, uh, to change next. So I'm going to click here. When the add button is clicked, I want to add those two values together. So we're going to use math to do this. So here is a block to add two numbers together. And what are the numbers we're going to add together? Why they are the numbers coming from our sliders. So we've got slider one, thumb position, and we've got slider two, thumb position. And then we want that sum to be displayed in our solution box. So we're going to set solution boxes text accordingly. So let's slide that over there. Okay. And so now go back to your app, try it out. And when you add them, you should see the sum. And then you can slide it around and see some different numbers as you play around with it. And so voila, you've got this handy dandy little calculator that you have programmed. Pretty cool. So um, make sure you've got the app caught up on your own device to what I've done in the video. And then your challenge is as follows. So let's go back to the designer for a moment. So we've got an add button. I want you to go and put in buttons for subtracting, multiplying, dividing. So how would you implement that? Well, in math, there are a lot of operations. So we use the add block here, but there's also a subtract block and a multiply block and a division block. So the slash uh, is a reference to division here. So go add a button for subtracting, a button for multiplying, and a button for dividing, and then implement each of those buttons here and make sure it works on your app. So go ahead, pause the video here, try that out, and then you can unpause it and I'll walk you through my own solution to the challenge. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and see how I would go about this. So. If I come back to my app, so the designer screen specifically, the way I'm visualizing this, I'd like plus, minus, times, and divide to each be in a row over here. So for that, I am going to need a horizontal layout, a horizontal arrangement. So I'm going to put a horizontal arrangement there. I'm going to put my plus button in there. And now I'm going to add my other buttons. So there's one, there's one, and one last one. Okay, it's kind of spilling over the side, but it's not a big deal because I am about to change the text. So instead of that, we're going to, I'm just going to call that minus and then put an X for a multiplication sign and then slash to represent division. Then I'm going to rename the buttons to make their functionality clear. So I'm going to call this sub button. I'm going to call this mall button. And I'm going to call this last one div button. Like so. Now let me go over to the blocks. I'm ready to program these buttons. So let me take them one at a time. So I'm going to start with the sub button. So when the sub button is clicked, I want my solution box text uh, to be set. So 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make some copies of this. So I have made copies for my multiply and my divide in addition to my subs. So I'm going to call that one for mall and this one for div. Now, none of them actually work because I need to add the actual math code here. So let me start with my subtraction. So I want to subtract slider one's thumb position minus a slider two thumb position. And so that'll be my subtraction button. Let me do my multiply button next. So then again, I am I take slider one and multiply it by slider two. And then last but not least, I'm going to do division. So that's a slash over here. So let me copy and paste slider positions. And so now um, go ahead and try it out on your app. What you should be able to do is set the sliders to various values, and then you can hit plus and see the sum. You can hit minus and see the difference. You can multiply them and you can divide them. And so that gives you a pretty nicely full featured little miniature calculator. So congratulations on putting this together. I'll see you in the next video.